So just recently the commercial VCV drums collection was released and other than individual drum modules there's also a sort of a drum machine that has all of the different modules in one place and the first thing I tried with it um, and this was during a live stream is using it as a synth voice and it worked so well I wanted to share this with you uh, maybe you will also want to give it a try so basically if I trigger the bass drum for example here I have the MIDI to CV module I have my MIDI, uh, MIDI keyboard set up and let's connect it also to the output right we get the bass drum sound obviously and, but the trick here is to trigger the different drums at audio rates and create a pitched voice so if I use for example instead of the MIDI module I will use the VCO1 right let's take the frequency all the way down and I will use the square output right the pulse or square output to trigger the bass drum and then right we get a tone and I can control the pitch of this tone, the pitch of this voice, uh, by controlling the pitch of the oscillator. So if I connect my MIDI keyboard, right, and we can also, like any other voice, we can send it through an envelope in VCA. I'm going to use a slap from Vult, which is a VCA with a built-in envelope and again I will use the MIDI module my keyboard of course you can also sequence this right now by changing the different parameters of the kick in this case we can change also the timbre right so the tuning the sweep Tech will be something like a Lopez filter. Right, maybe, maybe something like this. And the best thing is, is that we can layer the sound. So, for example, we can add, we can add the snare to it. I will take the volume of the kick all the way down for a second, and I will use the same oscillator. Right, to trigger the snare at audio rates and now again we have the tune the snap will be this uh, noise so we can have also no noise this is now just the snare right we can add also the toms we have here two toms that we can also pan, so there is also panning for each of the voices. So if I take again the snare down for a second and trigger both toms, and pan one to the left and one to the right, so we have also a stereo signal. They are really, really noisy. But we can take the attack a bit down, make them less noisy lower frequencies at least the higher you go in pitch <laughs> the more noise you will get which is also cool I mean this is now just the tom toms right if I add the snare for example now We can also take the kick, for example, an octave down. And um, so what we need for this is another oscillator. And I will use the octave module from VCV to take the same pitch information, right? An octave down. And this will be now the trigger for the um, kick drum. Oh yeah. favorite is the rim shot so if we use the first oscillator to trigger the rim shot 
Again, everything is at audio rates. Maybe I take the output here a bit down. It has this sort of a sync sound. Right, so we can use an envelope, for example, to control this. Um, let's use another ADSR. Right, to control the pitch of the, the tune of the rim shot. It has a CV input. Right, I will use the same gate. And now we can do something like this. And again, we have also panning. Right, so we can also modulate this. It has no CV input, but with a micro map module from Sturmelder, right, we can map modulation. So I will map the panning. And I will use an LFO for this, the LLFO from Bog Audio. We just have to change the settings here to offset it a bit. And also maybe to take the scale a bit down so it's not going hard left and hard right, right? And you can experiment with adding the other drum sounds, the claps and the hi-hats and the crashs and the rides. Um, but what we can also do is add here movement to the global uh, tune. Right, so I'm going to use another LFO for this. we can add you can add another filter not another filter but a filter I have a stereo filter from valley right this will be before the vca in this case and what i will do i will also map already um map my midi keyboard to this so i can control it with my midi keyboard the cutoff point right Opalach, just like this now of resonance, lots of drive. And of course, of course, of course, of course, a reverb so plateau will come at the end of the chain in this case right let's take the wet a bit down a bit less decay more modulation let's have a listen I guess that this voice works um, um, better at lower frequencies, like this one here. Oh, yeah. 
Mat also. It's quite noisy. It's quite noisy at higher frequencies, which is also quite nice, and we get ourselves a voice out of drums. Which is quite cool, and I always recommend trying triggering percussive voices at audio rates. Um, so again, this drum machine is available in the commercial drum collection from VCV. Go check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.